Hello boys and girls, Borada, Croy so to Mr. Richards' first assembly of this strange couple of weeks, I suppose. Doing things over the internet, which we're not used to, but uh, I'm sure we're getting used to that. Hope you had a, a lovely weekend. It's been a busy one. I know lots of people are trying to get out and about as a sort of last chance to get out in the fresh air. Unfortunately, it looks like lots of people had the same idea and lots of people ended up too close together. So from now on, I think the rule is to, to try and stay in really and, and, and make the most of what's there for you to do online from our school hub and all the homework that's been set for you. And keep your eyes out, as you probably saw on the weekend, there's lots of activities and things for you to do. Thank you to Mr. For what, Mr. Ward for his toilet roll challenge, and well done to all those who took part in that. I managed 10 myself. I think I would have done more, but uh, I was a bit worried about breaking my toilet paper, and toilet papers are really valuable at the moment, as we know. Uh, I know Mrs. Gilbert has put a, a rainbow art challenge on there as well, so get your paint brushes up, get paint in, and let's see lots of examples of how creative you are. Put them on Facebook, put them on Twitter, send them in to your teachers via Google Classrooms. Of course, Google Classrooms will be starting tomorrow, so if you haven't already logged in to have a look what's on there for you, have a look. Your teachers should be sending you lots of things uh, there. Now then, this Saturday was World Poetry Day. I'm just wondering how many people this weekend did any reading. Did you know it was World Poetry Day? We knew it was World Down Syndrome Day, and I know lots of people shared on Twitter they were wearing odd socks, and that was fantastic as well. So well done to all those who celebrated what we have always done at Lichard. We started when Holly was in with us, and I know Holly's moved on to Heron's Bridge, but we still celebrate that, so well done for all those who did. But Saturday was World Poetry Day. Um, lots of children wrote poems for the Ice Deadwood. Uh, Theo Tooze was our bar of the Ice Deadwood, and we shared his poem about the, the red dragon and the white dragon and the battle they had, and that was fantastic. But I thought I'd share a little poem with you today about, about teachers. You can have a little think uh, about what is a teacher. I know lots of children in our school would like to be teachers when they grow up. I always wanted to be a teacher and I, I got lucky, I suppose, and I've been teaching now for the best part of 20 years. But here's a poem called, What is a Teacher? Have a think. Some of it's funny, some of it's quite serious. See what you think about this. What is a teacher? A walker, a talker, a corridor stalker, a leader, director, and tactful corrector, a role model, tutor, a whiz with computer, a natural persuader a daily first aider, a reader, a writer, reports all nighter, a printer, protector, a problem deflector, a marker, a setter, a sender of letter, a natural orator, a known confiscator, a divider, decider, a spare pen provider, a cutter and sticker and fair-minded picker, a debater, relater and smile reinstater, a pairer, a carer and a lesson preparer. A defender, a lender, a broker and mender, a creator, inventor, inspiring mentor. A smiler, a filer, a stay back a while, a parent reminder, lost property finder. A keen finder outer, and sometimes a shouter. A describer, reviser, and trip organiser. A thinker, a winker, a covered in inker, an on your cider, and staff room resider that's what makes a teacher what do you think what makes a teacher what makes a good teacher what makes a bad teacher we're not perfect but i'd like to think most of the teachers are some of those things on the list a marker we mark your books we know that senders of letters spare pen provider far too many pens go missing at your primary school i think there may be a monster eating all the pens and pencils and he lives under the school Either that or the children are losing their pencils. What do you think? Not sure. Anyway, if you found a nice poem that you'd like to share with us, then you can post that on onto Facebook or onto Twitter maybe. We'd love to see or hear from you reading your poems. And I'm sure that you've seen on our YouTube channel all the stories being read by the staff. I did The Friendliest Giant. We've seen Mrs. Harris do the Three Little Pigs, and I've seen Miss Gilbert do a few, and lots of the other teachers, so have a look on our YouTube. We'd love to see you having a go. Maybe do a poem, it's quicker and it's a little bit shorter than a full story. 
I'm going to do some po uh, stories for older children this week. I'm going to try and do some David Walliams horrible children's stories. They're quite long, but I'll give it a go. But we'd love to see you and your parents giving it a go as well. So to all those children who are in the house today and bored with nothing to do, make sure you get outside in your gardens, do a bit of exercise, read a book, jump on the hub, do some work. We're hoping you're going to do at least a couple of hours a day. Don't spend all your time on your computers. My sons aren't. I've told them they're going to be out and about. But let's see what you're up to. Keep us informed. Keep posting your pictures. Keep tweeting. Let's keep it positive. Let's everyone be as happy as they can. Don't give your parents too hard a time, I know. It's going to be a long few weeks not in school. But we will get back to normal. And we'll keep in touch. I'll keep doing assemblies. And teachers will keep responding to your own hub as much as they can. Keep working hard. Don't forget. Only your best is good enough for you. Speak to you soon. Have a good day. Walk back quietly to class. Or with day non-school. Can't walk back to class. Walk back to your bedrooms or whatever you can do your work. See you soon.